Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome back, my friends, to the BJJ Brick Quick Podcast. This is the quick jujitsu podcast for you. We'll drag this topic on the mat, get a roll in, send you on your way. My name is Byron. Today, we're talking about doing submissions from multiple positions. There's a story of a man who had a bow tie and didn't know how to tie it. He was traveling on business. And this predates YouTube, if you could believe it. There was no good way for him to just figure out how to tie this bow tie after working and working at this thing. He got out of his hotel room, went next door, and knocked. A couple doors down later, a guy answers and says, Sure, I could tie a really nice bow tie. Come on in. And so the guy comes into his hotel room. And the guy says, Lay down on the bed. <laughs> the guy's like, uh, Okay, I guess I'll... I made a bit of a pickle here. I'll lay down on the bed. And the guy ties a perfect, beautiful bow tie. The guy goes, he gets up and he's like, why did you need me to lay down on the bed? The man looks at him and says, well, that's simple. I'm an undertaker. Man, <laughs> is that your jujitsu? So what, what's happened to this guy is he ties bow ties on, on people who have passed away. And he can't do it on a living person. Do you have submissions that only work from one place? Some submissions are designed that way. Others open up avenues all over the place. It doesn't necessarily need to be a submission. It could be a, a technique. Can you do that technique from multiple places? For me, when I think about a submission I could kind of find from any dominant position or even a neutral position, it's going to be my Kimura. I'm sorry, my uh, my guillotine. <laughs> my Kimura is not that good. But I've been, you know, Kimura from basically everywhere. So that's a good, another good example. But for me, I like guillotines. I like arm and guillotines. And I like to do them while I'm passing your guard. I could do that from, from half guard. I could, I could jump past your guard, do like a little half flip and, and lock up my arm and guillotine. I could do them from side control. I could do them from mount. I don't have a guillotine from the back. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I developed my guillotine from the guard. That was where my my playground was. That's where I learned how to uh, refine my techniques. Get the movement, get the feel of the technique. I could also do a guillotine from the turtle position. Throw another one in there for you. But starting with a guard, I, I learned how to do the arm and guillotine. I learned how to grab the neck or the chin. I learned how to use my hands together. I, I understood how to get space, type of space I needed, their reactions, what to do with the follow-ups. All this from the guard. And I know that it's not the same from other positions, but it's similar. It's good enough. So when, when, when I took my guillotine just out of my guard and took it into the world of uh, half guard, I think was my one of my easier transitions. I had to clean up a few things. I had to change a few things. But if I couldn't do the guillotine from the guard, I wouldn't have learned it from the half guard. Now, not all moves will... Uh, go over such a variety of, of positions. And that's okay. But are you really good at a move that can be done almost anywhere? Do you only do it from one spot? Are you the undertaker making uh, a neighbor in the hotel lie down on his bed to tie a bow tie? I would venture to say if the undertaker 
tied a bow tie on two or three people, maybe even himself, he could do that bow tie in the dark on a different person, on a dog. It's going to behoove you to take your good submissions and try to plug them in different spots. That's going to really open your game up. What submissions do you have from everywhere? I'd love to see these. Maybe I'm missing some things. Maybe I could add a position to a submission I'm decent at. That'd be cool. Comment in this episode. Appreciate that. If you have a topic you want me to cover, bjjbrick at gmail.com. Send your submissions there. Till next time, stay sweaty, my friends.